The SARA trial was led by Sally Lamb. It is a randomised controlled trial that investigated the effect of exercise on hand function in people with rheumatoid arthritis. Disease-modifying drugs and biological agents are used to control disease activity and minimise structural damage in rheumatoid arthritis. When this trial was designed, there was an evidence gap on the benefits of exercise. A large trial was required to estimate the sustained effects of exercise on hand function. The aim of the SARA trial was to estimate the average effect of tailored exercise plus usual care compared to usual care alone on hand function in people with rheumatoid arthritis. 17 National Health Service hospitals across the United Kingdom recruited 490 participants. The main criteria for inclusion were having rheumatoid arthritis with pain and dysfunction of the hands and being on a stable drug regimen for at least three months. A concealed and random process was used to allocate participants into two groups. 246 were allocated to the tailored exercise group and 244 to the usual care group. Tailored exercise involved attending six sessions with a physiotherapist or occupational therapist and completing a home exercise program for at least 12 weeks. Seven mobility and four strength exercises were prescribed and progressed using a standardised protocol. Participants also received usual care. Usual care was based on international clinical guidance and included joint protection education and functional splinting. A maximum of three sessions of outpatient therapy were allowed. Participants were encouraged to be active and continue drug therapy through an information sheet. The primary outcome was the overall hand function score on the Michigan Hand Outcomes Questionnaire 12 months after randomisation. Scores can range from 0 to 100, with 100 indicating good function. Assessors were blinded to group allocation and analysis was by intention to treat. On average, tailored exercise improves hand function by four points more than usual care. The 95% confidence interval is one to seven points. The authors also showed that the benefit was greater amongst those who complied well with the intervention, using a more robust analysis than most trials use. The minimal, clinically important difference probably falls between 8 and 13 points. Tailored hand exercise is a beneficial, low-cost intervention to provide as an adjunct to drug regimens for people with rheumatoid arthritis.